Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, it's me. Coming to you live from Harlem in New York City, it's Alex and the Ramble. Until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is, Chuck Farnham. Yay! Yeah. Boy, you look you look healthier. You look better, well 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 rested. I'm, I'm doing okay. You're doing okay. I'm doing okay, I think. Yeah, I'm lot. slowly but surely. Well, you had a lot of deaths going for you. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's I've been swell. Your mother. But I'm. Uh, I think you know. I'm tumbling along here. Um, how long did one death? Six. How long did one death follow the other? Your mother went first, right? We. Well, a couple, three weeks. And then your stepfather. Right. When who was also? One your... was a thing. One was basically th- Thanksgiving, and one was on like New Year's Eve. Really? Oh boy. It's a holiday festival. Yeah. And, and you... in between that, we lost Biedney. Yes. At Christmas. Yes. At Christmas. So was, I got all the holidays covered. This was a friend of ours from years ago, for me. Uh, yep. David B. Edney, you've probably still been in contact with him and so on. Oh, all, I've known the guy forever. Yeah. And uh, he died. How old was he? 50-something. Really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm At this point, I'm just kind of fumbling along and... There are great days and there are weird days and well the thing was you you, know, all, you also lost your 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 stepfather who was also your best friend from exactly from, from grade school yeah forever forever the guy I knew forever basically. And, he, and he married your mother right well of course he married they had, your a, mother. they had a couple of decades between each other I would say so but he he died at what age how old was he. 69, I think. Okay. And uh, then we also lost Christy Frazier. Right. Andrade. Uh, and what's her latest name? I don't remember her latest name right now off, offhand. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's yeah. my producer at uh, KHS. Live 105. Yeah. Yeah. We lost her too. You know, so. It's. You know, you get old and things happen. Yeah, but these weren't old people. I mean, she was 61. Right. You know, um, your your friend, who was your stepfather, was what, 69, you say? Yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. Uh, and Well, he's whatever age you probably are right now. Um, I'll be 66 next week. So maybe he was 66? Or was he? No, he was... He was a hair older than me, but not not a lot. Yeah, okay. But, you know, so, I mean, these are people who should not have died, okay? I, I mean, your mother was how old? She was in her mid-80s. Okay. So, you so know. she was, you know, at least in her 80s. My grandmother died in 1999, I think. Well, I mean, the expiration date, you know, my expiration date was somewhere like 77, you know. So. Right. And here I am still going. Right. Knock on I, wood. Uh, yeah. Wood, I mean, I'm, anything. you know, 66, and uh, I I don't know. I feel okay, though. I mean, I'm not. Well, it, I, it, hey, it, now you're, wait a second. Your color changed. Well, there's something. You got a tan there for a second. No, there's something wrong there with you. Nothing's changed here. Really? Really. Yeah, you kind of got a little, uh. You know, you got a little color all of us. Oh, there it is again. If well, you get back a hair, you have more color. No. That's weird. No. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, it's just, just you. See, I mean, I, I can, uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. You want my, me to change my color? Uh, here, I can change my color. Wait a minute. There we go. No, no, I need a little, I need a little red. A little too much red, I think. A little too much red. There we go. There you go. There you go. There. That's the color I was seeing before. Okay. 
Oh, that's all right. So I figure I'll just uh, do that. Plenty of blood running through you. Lower the saturation a little. I'll bring it up here. There we go. No, that's too much. There we go. How do you like that? That's good. Is that good? That's good color. That is good color. That's maybe overcolor. There we are. That's just right. No, no, you're, you're very pretty, Alex. Yeah. Everything's good. <laughs> okay, so now I look uh, look good, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, no. Okay. Before you were a little light, but now you're fine. Yeah. It's, it's it looks like you've been out in the sun. It's all a matter of how you It's trouble is, I got this new control board, okay? Right. And there's so many audio settings that it takes months before you get it just right. Like right now, I have a no thing called a noise gate that's on. Now, you don't hear mm -hmm. it pumping, do you? Not at all. But when I'm silent, there's no sound at all. That's the noise mm -hmm. gate. Because I've got an air conditioner on here, and what it wants to do is stop the air conditioning sound. But when I'm talking, you hear it because it opens the gate. You get know what I'm saying? Right, right. But when I'm not it, talking... It, it, it makes uh, certain frequencies available as you're speaking. Well, also, it just cuts out the noise. Right. You know, so... Uh, I, I, I don't know how it sounds. In my earphones, it sounds kind of weird. Like, you know, cuts in and out. Sounds, yeah. Sounds perfect like this. Yeah, well, then it should... You, what you're hearing is what the audience is going to hear. You know. Right. You know. Anyway... Lucky them. Yeah. yeah. But uh, anyway, so, I mean, what happens is, as you get older, you, all these people start dying around you, you know? I know. Uh, I, 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 you know, and it starts trickling, and then it gets, like, you know, you like you're going over a cliff or something. I mean, it's like, first it's like one, and then a couple months later, there's another one, and then one month there'll be like four, and then, yeah, but you know, at, then at your age, at going. your age, there shouldn't be that many. Yeah, at my age, it's like this whole litany of people. You know, we had, I had, you know, I had, uh, I had Christy go. That really shocked me. You know, right? Because she was young. She was still. She was seven, sixty-one. She didn't need to go. Yeah, that's that's a little young. Yeah. I don't know. All my friends are older anyway. For is the this most depressing, part. folks? Is this depressing you? Because if it is. Good. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. We're just, yeah. And, and you know what? This is our only chance of therapy because neither one of us is going to go. So we just talk to each other through it. Oh, you think I'm? How long? How long do you think I'm going to go? Am I going to make I it to my? I think you're going to go as far as your mom went. A hundred? Yeah. Oh, I won't even. Yeah, I think so. I won't even. By then, I won't even know what's going on around me. I I barely know now. You know. My memory. No, not no good. I get I get memory lapses. It's really terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I mean, eventually, if I go, I won't know I'm dead. That's uh, that's what I'm thinking. That'll work. So I went to a yeah, well, I, mean, I went to the neurologist the other day, and my w walking is being impeded now. Right. You know. Yeah, they call me. Uh, they call me a wobbler. You're a wobbler. That's what they, the the nurses in the in the hospital said. They go, they stopped me. I was walking, and they stopped me. And they go, "Oh, you're a wobbler." And I go, "What the hell is that?" They go, "Somebody who looks like they're about to fall over, but maybe they aren't." It, it, so, so you look like you're about to fall over. Is that what it I'm is? But I'm not. You're not. Sometimes I do, but some, most of the time I don't. But I look like I'm going to. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, we have a term for you. Yeah, I, I use a cane now. I, I've got a couple. You know. And I got a wheelchair. And I have two mobility carts, I think. Three. Three mobility carts. Mobility carts? Yeah. What? You know, like you're in the grocery store and you climb on that little thing with a basket. Yeah. And then drive it around. Yeah. I, I have like three of those. You, where did you, why did, you got them, well, I guess your mother had one, right? Exactly, well, stepdad had one. Yeah. I, I decided to buy one one time. How much do they run? And then I found a crazy deal on one once. How much do they run? Um, They're motorized. About 1500 1500 Oh, really? That's all? Yeah. I'm, but I got one for 300 And then... I got a uh, 
You know something, like, folks? But, I'm I'm sorry. This is just not for young people. This show. Yeah, well, I mean, no, we're, all we're talking about here about. Is, is 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 methods of transportation when you can't walk. <laughs> exactly. And I got um, and then I found a titanium wheelchair. Oh, really? Which is really light. Why are really. you collecting these things? Well, I. Okay, here here's a scenario for you. Okay. I go to see the Rolling Stones in Santa Clara. Okay. With our old buddy uh, Curtis Demartini. Oh, okay. I run into I ran into Demartini. We're going to go to the show. Okay. Right. Well, I'm not capable of walking from the parking lot to where my seat is located because my back will give out. It's not good. Mm -hmm. So I got all these different vehicles to try to test drive what would be the best way to get to the scene. And I determined that carrying around the big motorized jobs is not real good. No, for yeah, me. Not, no, no. But the titanium wheelchair is. So I get in the titanium wheelchair, I get Demartini to push me. And by the way, parking at the Rolling Stones? Yeah. $73. What? 73 bucks. What? Yeah, exactly. Seven three. Seventy three dollars to park at the Rolling. How much was the ticket to the Rolling Stones? Um, they were a couple hundred. So, so Which, really, uh, uh, they're charging about a third of what your ticket costs to park. Right. What is what's with them? They're nuts. It's crazy, and, and it's the and it's it's Levi. It's the stadium. It's not even the band. Well, the band, you know, should have some control over that. If I were the band, I would say you're not charging any seventy three dollars for parking, and we're not doing a show here. Yeah, you know, they did. It, yeah. And, how, how long did the show and, go on? Oh, it was two and a half hours, and they were great. Yeah, but you, what, you when know, you that, went, you've gone to the you've gone to the uh, Grateful Dead forever, right? Right. Mm -hmm. What was the longest concert they ever did that you went to? Mm, started around eight, ended around five. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they so, can. I don't think they can do that anymore. No, no. But the but Jagger was doing all of his little you know dance moves. And, oh, was this for Rolling Stones? I thought you said it was Grateful Dead. No, no, no! It was Rolling Stone. Oh, oh! See, that's, and that's Mick how and far Keith, gone I am. Anyway, yeah, no, yeah. Mick and Keith, they were moving like like the wind, everywhere. Uh, like these guys, you take anybody else of that age, and I guess you're in there. You would not believe what they were doing. Well, it's Mick's like about, they gotta have a Mick's stroke. about my age. I think he's 81, 82, something like that. Yeah, and he was moving everywhere and. It was amazing. I was shocked that they were, you know, they were, they were definitely well, you not know, just it's calling strange, it. It's strange. Uh, certain people go into certain modes. Like, I'm probably not as spry once we stop talking as I am right. when I'm doing this. Because I've done this all my life. All right? right. So immediately you can the, turn mic it on and off. the microphone goes on, and I'm, I'm far more lucid than I normally am. Right. right? So what happens, I, I, I give you a good example. Tony Bennett, at the end of his life, had full-on Alzheimer's. Right. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't even recognize his relatives, you know. That's how bad it was. And yet he got on stage with Lady Gaga and remembered Boom. every lyric. Yeah. And they said as soon as he gets on stage, he remembers all the lyrics and everything like that, you know. Yep. Yeah. That's just what happens. So, so there's a certain kind of thing that kicks in, that's kind of a, 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 a what do we call it? A kind of a, a memory that you have, a memory thing that you have. Cognitive. Yeah, that you, you just it like. I remember watching the uh, the the Letterman show, late night on NBC, mm -hmm. and next door they always had live at five doing their newscast, and they would have guests. Sure. And so one of their guests was Bob Hope. 
And so after that, one of the guys grabbed him and took him and brought him over to the Letterman show. And they took a shot of the doorway to the hall. And, and um, Bob Hope emerges. And he's like this. You know, he's like this. And then all of a sudden, Letterman says, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Hope. And then he goes, and then he's a I, swagger, swaggering Bob Hope. I, uh, we did a thing at the station for Bob Hope. Bob Hope was at Macy's doing a promotion for something. And, you know, the fine folks at PR over at Macy's always would call the radio station and say, do you want to come over and, and uh, <laughs> you know, interview Bob Hope? And him and Dolores were there. And Bob, I'm not sure Bob knew where he was. I mean, he didn't look like he knew where he was. He was just kind of mumbling. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And and we got him to do uh, station IDs. Well, wait a minute. Which, hold, on, which... hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me just make sure I have it here. It's on here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, Bob Hope. Bob Hope. Bob Hope. No, no Bob Hope. Okay. okay, well, it's up here then. It's got to be uh, somewhere. God, I had it. Where was it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I, I got to go find it for you. Here's exactly what he did. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, and let me do something so you make I can make sure you hear it, okay? All right, here we go. Here we go. You ready? Uh, all right, here we are. Where is it? I just lost. Oh, there it is. Okay, ready? Go. Cool. He wants you to do a station promo. What is it? This is Bob Modern Rock Hope. This you're is, listening to Alex this Bennett. This is Bob Byron Rockhope, and you're listening to... Alex Bennett on Live Alex 105. Bennett on Live... 105. 105. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Mm, uh, Modern Rock Hope. I can't believe you have that. Bennett, Live 105. That was Alex 45 minutes Bennett. worth of work, man. Alex Bennett. You're listening to Alex Bennett on Live 105. That was it. That that that's the promo. Oh man, dude, the the PR people were not happy. Bob's people were not happy. Dolores was not happy. What at, at, at what we did and having him record that? Yeah. Oh, it took forty five minutes. Really? What you got there is a very small snippet of forty five minutes worth of work. He can only put out like two words at a time. Yeah. But it, well, you could hear they were. He was saying it, and then they said, "Say it again." And then he tried to right, say it right, again. right again. And, and they were looking. Then I broke it. They, they were I looking. Broke it down for him. Yeah, but then you think, were you there when he was recording it? I was doing it. Yeah, you, I'm the you guy were doing the, it. Yeah, I was the guy. You didn't. So you and didn't, it was like, you oh my god, you didn't stink. It's gonna take forever. You didn't stink, Bob, uh, that Palm Bob, did you? No, I should have, dude. It it was horrible. And then Macy's is pissed off because they act like I'm working Bob Hope. And I'm like, I, I just wanted him to say, you know, what I wanted him to say. You're listening to Alex Bennett on Live 105. Five, yeah. And this is, you know, Bob Modern Rock Hope. I wrote it all out for him. He couldn't see a thing. A guy had more cataracts than, uh, but it was Bob Hope. Yeah, yeah. Although there's no question that that's Bob Hope. Yeah, yeah, it was, I think that was the last time Macy's invited me to a, uh, a thing. Really? They were, they were not happy. Yeah, we, we did a thing uh, called, um, what was it that we did? Um, I'm trying to remember. Um, um, okay, I, see, I, I just completely went blank. You're doing I, fine, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was, I was going to say something, and I went blank. Of course, that happened to me when I was 60, okay? So, yeah. you know, especially when I... But you know what it is? It, when you used to, in the old days, smoke pot and get stoned, and you start talking, and you had a brilliant idea, and I, I got to tell you this, and then you forgot what you were going to say, that was pot, right? Now I don't need the right. pot any longer. Yeah. No, now you're there. I, I have to write everything down. Or it's gone. Yeah. But uh, I don't think we were taking advantage of Bob Hope. We simply wanted to get a little promo out of him, you know. 
Oh, they invited me over there. What am I going to do? I got to do something. Yeah. And that's what I thought I would do. Yeah. So well, let me explain something. We I mentioned this is what I was going to bring up. I mentioned stink palming. Now yeah. this was something you got from a movie, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I can't remember. Which well, back when we were kids, there was something in a film. There was it was a movie by the guy who did. Um, um, uh, he well, he was a did a bunch of films we liked because it was they were really weird and off key. And they had a thing where they would go and stink palm people. Now, explain what stink palming is. When you stick your hand up your butt and uh, then you leave it in there for a while and then you go shake people's hands. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, you go <laughs> up the crack, right? And if you're, yeah, if you're, you know, if you never grew up like either of us, um, you find it hysterical no matter what. Well, look, tell some of the people we stink palmed. We stink palmed, um, you did, um, Geraldo Rivera. Right. And Willie Brown, the mayor of San Francisco. Yeah, what's his, no, what's his name's wife? Um, not Brown. Uh, who was that evil mayor? Uh, the, the evil re Republican. Mayor. No, yeah, the Republican one, um. I can't think of his name. Yeah, but you, you did his wife. But his wife came up to the studio. Mm -hmm. I remember his wife, he's not going to come to the studio, but his wife has decided that she's going to come to the studio to promote his candidacy. He shows up. You and I have a plan in advance. We don't tell Lori. And we interview her, and she's, you know, you guys aren't really as bad as people are saying you are. We're like, oh, thank you. And, Lori's having pictures taken with her, and then I think you and I had a picture taken with her, and she leaves. And you and I, uh, well, Lori looks over at the two of us and goes, she's really nice, guys. I don't know why you've been making fun of her all this time. And you and I can't speak. We just have both of our faces down on the console, <laughs> and we're like losing our mind. And Lori just kind of looks up and goes, uh-oh. What did you two do? <laughs> I go, you were right here, Lori. We didn't do anything. She goes, no, something happened in this room that I don't know. I had my photo taken with that woman. What, are, what, what did you two do? And we, uh, and I think I turned to you and I went, you hear that sound, Alex? And you're uh, like, yeah, I think I do. And, and Lori goes, what are you talking about? And I go, that's the sound of a limo pulling over right now and somebody getting hand sanitizer <laughs> really quick. <laughs> But I thought it was, I can't believe I thought, you guys did I, that. I thought it was Willie Brown. You did Willie Brown too. No, it was it was um, God. Who was the guy? I can't remember. Willie was buddies. He would come down and do stuff all the time, no problem. Yeah. But it was um, Jordan, Frank Jordan. Frank Jordan. I don't remember the guy. Yeah, Frank. Frank and his wife. Yeah. 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 And then we did a thing where Frank was. Uh, Hustling people out of the uh, uh, Golden Gate Park because they were living there. Yeah. And so they were going to clear out the park. And I went down because, you know, the dumb uh, uh, San Francisco establishment gave me a press credential so I could get into anything. And we went down there and you wanted to ask him a question. You wanted to ask Frank a question while he was, you know, he was down there in front while they're ripping out all these people's houses. And, and you, they let me go first, and I'm just like, oh, and you people are just stupid. I mean, I wouldn't let me go first. And you only had, your first question was, hey, Frank, why are you an asshole? And it was, did I say that? I don't even remember. Yeah, you did, and it was brilliant. And, and Frank's like, what? Huh? Oh, hi, Alex. How are you today? And then Frank's trying to go one way, and you're just, you only had the one question, Frank, why are you an asshole? And why are you an asshole? I don't remember that. It was really It was remember. beautiful, and all the guys from the other news organizations, by then they'd recognize me, and they're like, oh, crap, Farnham's here. This is not going to go well. We're not going to get stuff for news because he's going to do something stupid. And, and we did, and they didn't, so it was perfect. Wow, gee, I, I don't remember that. Yeah, it was a good one. Okay, I was, so there. I, I will put that in my memory packet of memories yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Yep.
But anyway, hey, listen, we got about oh, about less than a minute here. So. Uh oh. Uh oh. How's the weather? Oh, the weather is hot today. Well, today it's actually it's 82 right now. Yeah, it's 101. 101. Well, you live out yeah. in the desert. I do, but still, 101 is. It's a you know, it's not a dry heat, Alex. It's hot. It's hot. You could cook on the sidewalk. Wow. Anyway, listen. Let's uh, take a break for a week and or two and do this again. Sure, why not? How's that, ladies and gentlemen? That's the wonderful and attractive Chuck yeah. Farnham. Thanks, Chuck. Bye. Bye. Now in its 10th year, this is Gabnet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yeah, okay. There he was, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive um, <laughs> Chuck Farnham. We, uh, we enjoy him, okay? I'm still trying to get all this stuff figured out here whether it works or whether it doesn't work or whatever. So please bear with me uh, if, I, if I sound a little weird here and there. But uh, I, I, won't, uh, I won't worry about it now. See, I can, there are a few things that need to be kind of uh, fixed here, and they're not fixed. Um, and here I'm trying to find them. Uh, the noise gate, it should be... Just a little bit better than it is. There it is. Okay. Are we fine? We're fine. Okay. That's better than we were. Okay. Anyway, I, 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 there's some people waiting to come on here, so let's admit them. Okay. I go admit all, and I, uh, I uh, go down here to the citizen panel, and I go to Zoom. There we go. And there's our, uh, there are some people. Got uh, Jeff, and we got uh, Josh. Hello, Josh. How Hello. you doing? Oh, at the noise gate. Oh boy. Just a little bit. Uh, Jeff. Clean. Okay, clean. Okay, good. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you this evening? I'm good. You're good. Okay. Good. And Jeff, how are you doing? Good. It's uh, it's a nice day today. You know. Yeah, I took a walk, but it was not sticky. I took a walk, but I I can't really walk, but I took a walk anyway. And uh you know, I'm okay. I'm doing all right. So you know. Took a, a walk and a and a bike break. A walk and a bike. Yeah. Oh, good for you. The old legs are still working, huh? Yeah, not not great, but not not great. Oh uh, the the wheel doesn't fall apart. <laughs> yeah. And Josh is with us. Hello, Josh. Hello. And we're joined tonight uh, again by Roberta, who called us last night. Um, here we go. Wait, we'll wait till she gets herself all. There we go. Oh, you're looking terrific. Okay, good. Hello, Roberta. How are you? Hello. Yeah. So anyway, um, um, uh, it's still more of the same kind of news. It just gets Trump gets a little more ridiculous every day as we as we go on. He's starting to really show that he can't stand the pressure. Hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's gonna fire himself. <laughs> fire himself. Yeah. And I mean, I'm sure they're, uh, you know, a bit upset. I think that, uh, you know, for a long time, this is what they said they wanted. So it's like that saying, you know, uh, here one of these days you're going to you're going to get all you want. And then we're going to find out if you uh, want all you get, you know. Yeah. So that's uh, he got all he wanted. And now let's see if he uh, mm -hmm. likes what he got. So, I mean. You know, they were the ones saying for months that Biden should drop out of the race. He left, and he was replaced, and they don't seem to be able to deal with it very well. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. You can't, they can't deal with it. So, you know, you know I, was, uh, <clears throat> I was reading right before you came on to the call yeah. in the, the newspaper, Washington Post, 
you know, about some of the most recent polling is showing some small gains for Harris. Um, you know, and it's only been, you know, really a week. So uh, not really even that, I would, I don't think. Um, so, you know, that's good. I mean, it's, you well, know, and po polls can't judge enthusiasm and things like that either very well. So, but from what I see from the polling, you know, that I see, um, it, it basically does, it's, it's going to be all about turnout then. You know, this isn't a big walk for Trump like it was anymore. If Democrats turn out, she can win. Well, I That's think I think also there's the enthusiasm factor. Right. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold right. on a second. I've well, that's what I'm saying. You know, you would hope that enthusiasm equals turnout, you know? Yes. I mean, if you're really enthusiastic for uh, a, person, a candidate, Harris, whoever, you don't vote, well, how enthusiastic really were you, you know? Well, no, but the enthusiasm is, the enthusiasm is an important factor, you know? Yeah, it might be the factor, you know, mm -hmm. this time around. Yeah. We'll see. Absolutely. You know, so, who knows? I'm still trying to get my sound right here. So, please. You know, that's what, that's what Democrats have to, or no, I shouldn't even really say Democrats. That's what people who want Harris to be elected or, or just want Trump to be defeated, whatever their motivation is, mm -hmm. that's what they have to do is just it, it has to be turnout because, you know, Trump's people uh, for whatever you think of it are very enthusiastic right yeah. Yeah. um but one person goes in and casts a vote and that's one vote yeah. a democrat or another person who just wants trump to be defeated and shrugs their shoulders about harris that's one vote you know <laughs> so yeah. you know their enthusiasm doesn't mean you know that their vote is counted as one and a quarter or one and a half or anything like that it's it's one vote yeah. So they have to turn out and and do whatever, you know, they have to do if they would like to sort of ax this Trump nonsense once and for all. Yeah. So I mean, it, big it, chance. It, yeah, I mean it, it it's uh it, it it's just nice that there's a certain enthusiasm now that there wasn't a week ago. You know? Mm -hmm. And uh and and we have hope. You know. I mean, maybe she can't pull it off, but she'll She'll give it a good try, uh, but I can't see I can't see Trump winning at this point because he's just getting negative and more negative and more negative, and he's just flailing, and and she is just presenting herself as oh, okay I'm just going to run a, a you know a decent campaign and believe in America and believe in the hopes and dreams of America, and she has a very positive outlook. And I think America will respond to that because they're so sick of the negativism. Yeah, I, I hope. So, I mean, see what everybody else thinks, but I hope. I mean, I know that's what I've been saying for a long time. We've talked about this on the weekends a lot. Is you know, I'm just so tired of the, how they just hate everything. I mean, yeah, I, well, I mean, it's just, come on. What, Roberta? I was going to say, I think he's right because I went online in order to uh, find some information about the uh, blacks and their opinion of Kamala Harris that I talked about yesterday. And while I had some of that information I was gathering, I ran into recent polls and the recent polls uh, reflect exactly what was said yesterday by you guys that uh, Kamala uh, is doing very well right now. The, the, there is a groundswell for yeah. her among blacks. And I think it's the enthusiasm that, hey, she's really there. They're not going to fight her. They're going to support her. And so the polling looks really good. Well, I mean, everybody was looking for a really positive message. And suddenly we have a positive message, you know. Mm -hmm. And and uh, the trouble with Trump is he would go should go more positive rather than negative, and he's not going to do it. He's incapable of it. He thinks this is his That's way of happen. winning. Yeah, I mean, I look, I, I, I think— you know, and they did this with one of his little statements, you know, one of the Harris campaign's first commercials I think they plan to run is only like 10 seconds. And I think the second one should be Trump saying America is a stupid country ran by stupid people. And they should just let him say that. And then she should say, I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. 10 seconds cost hardly any money. 
and just keep playing it. This America is a stupid country ran by stupid people. Just let him keep saying that. Just run that in a television commercial and just say, I approve this. I message. think by the time this is all over, and this mm. is just, you know, my take on it, but I think that after this is all over, we're going to find that uh, uh, that Trump is going to lose phenomenally. I mean, he's going to really take a shellacking. Because the more positive she remains, the better her campaign well, has. Again, talking to consumers, talking to the public, general public, the voters, that's one of the things that they liked about the candidates that I was representing at the time. And it was the fact that they were positive, that they talked policy, they had a positive outlook, they wanted to, people are so tired. I mean, that was one of the major things that was given as a reason why people voted Trump out last time. They were just tired of the melodrama. They just didn't want to deal with it. And Biden may, not, may or may not have been the best candidate, but his let's just, you know, get back to quote unquote normal. The, the, the melodrama is really, people get upset over all that kind of just negativity that they have to see in the news. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I think that people are going to respond to this and uh, she isn't going to have to really work that hard at it. She just has to be genuine. And that's the one quality she has is she seems to be genuine. Uh, and, and that, uh, that's a very good uh, place to be, I think. Um, uh, I was watching her today, and I just went. She, you know, she gets on the podium and she smiles. Trump right. gets on the podium and he grumps. He just, <laughs> you know, I'm going to eat raw meat now. Yes, yes, Alan. Hello. Um, I think Trump has has given the Republican Party uh, the the okay to just grumble about everything for now on out. And, he, and it, it happened during his presidency. It's okay to grumble. It's okay to complain. It's okay to put other people down. That wasn't the Republican Party under Reagan or under Bush. They tried to find positive things to do. We may not have agreed with them, but Trump's way of doing things has put the Republican Party in a real bad place right now. Well, what he does is he, he attacks his competition. He, in no uncertain terms, I mean, the part I really love is he refers to uh, Kamala as being a ultra left wing liberal. And I'm thinking, I know left wing. I'm left wing. She's not left wing. She's somewhere in the middle, you know. Yep. Yep. Uh, and and uh, to say that she's that is just insane. Mm -hmm. It's just insane. You know, and she's so far to the left. I heard today. He said Obama won't even have anything to do with her. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, she's so, so he's, far he's... to the left. She uh, she went ahead and um, she she really laid it on the protesters who were burning the American flag. That was like okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's digging his own hole. And he's got a VP that's got a backhoe helping him dig oh, that hole. No. Oh, yeah. The VP <laughs> is just a piece of work. That is I poison. think already he, he has uh, second thoughts about making that guy his nom, his uh, vice that president. That guy is a, is a piece of work on top of it. He's, he's supposed he to be a puppet, but he's a puppet on, on the steroids. You yeah. know, he could have gotten somebody <laughs> like Marco Rubio. Minimi. Marco Rubio, and uh, he he'd know more what he was getting than with uh, with uh, Vance, you know. Yeah, I, think I wouldn't be at least a bit surprised if he changed his mind. Can he do that? <laughs> can he change his mind? Trump? Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I mean, can he? No, I'm once saying they, once they've nominated him, can they say, "Oh, wait, mind, I made a mistake. I, mean, I want to get. Right? <laughs> I want to make him. Uh, yeah, I want. I made a mistake. I want to bring somebody else in. Can they do that? I, I, they could, I guess. I guess, I guess they'd it, have to have another convention, but, you know, we can do that. You know. um, I don't know if you guys are aware, when Bernie Sanders was uh, challenging what happened to him at the uh, Democratic National Convention in 2016, it was brought into a court of law. The court of law decided 
that the DNC is a private organization. And even if they break their own rules, they're allowed to do that because they're a private organization. I don't know how many people are aware of that or are willing to consider that when it comes to either the present situation with the Democrats or possibly, you know, Trump and the Republicans. But that was decided in a court of law. So there you go. Well, they write their own bylaws, right? <laughs> yep. They can yep. change their mind, you know. Now, they may run into some issues with the naming on ballots in states depending on when they change their mind, you know. Um, because there are some state laws about when the ballots are finalized and locked in and you can still remove someone and then, but you know, the vote, I mean, blah, 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 but, you know, but they're pulling up all kinds of dirt on this guy about, you know, uh, how parents that have kids should have more power than people without children. I mean, where the hell does that come from? I told you guys off the air. Yeah, I know you did. I remember I said, here it is. This is exactly what Josh was saying the other night. I'm here and I know who he is. And look, he's this, this, this guy is white people's uncle Tom. I do not. I don't know what planet this guy came from, but you know, well, I mean, he didn't he come up with something where he said that uh, women who don't have babies are losers or something like that? Yeah, he said. Yeah, I called my wife a cat woman tonight. Stuff like she, that. I, I, I got beat. You got so now beat. I'm a you know yeah. husband beater. Yeah. yeah. Ron DeSantis isn't any better, so there you go. He's a sellout, you know. I mean, he just he and, must and, really want the job. My question is, at what point do they all start backing? off of Donald Trump. You know, I mean, at some point they're going to have to say, "Oh, well, I got away from him." You know, I When you know. he loses the presidency. Well, that that the, he if he loses the presidency, you're not going to hear from Donald Trump again. Okay. Republican party might be irreparable by then. How long is it going to take to fix it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, they they are in big trouble. They've dug a hole already, as you say, yep. you know. Which is sad. Huh? Which is sad. Yeah. Because you know. it shouldn't be a ruined party. Yeah. Well, it is going to be. It's going to be a ruined party. It's already ruined. It's just how it's much more damage ruined. is going to do. Trump made I think what that. the Democrats have going now is this second wind in which they are more confident than they have been in years, mm -hmm. okay, about this presidency. Uh, and and uh, and she's done a good job of doing it too, you know. I mean, she's uh, she's it's a the beginning, but yeah, I agree. And I'm neither one of them, so you know, you know, I'm independent. But it's uh, definitely as being in the middle. It's I'm one of those swing swing voters, mm -hmm. and you know, and we're, going we're, the other way we're, now. So last week you were going to vote for Trump. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm still right. thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> you still got to convince me. Yeah, still got to convince you. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just think that it's 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 very refreshing what's been going on. However, it is. However, it, it, we do have a real situation here with uh, uh, with what's going on with their their handling of how they're handling uh, Kamala. Kamala, Kamala, what is uh, Kamala? Kamala? Is it no? I Kamala. think it's Kamala. 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 Is it really, Kamala. or is it Kamala? Yeah, Kamala, Kamala Harris. Kamala. Kamala Harris. Okay, I want to pronounce it correctly. I don't want to be. You know. She goes Kamala. That's what he That's says. What he like expected. China. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, Obama was easier to pronounce. Barack Obama was easier to pronounce. Yeah, but he didn't have birth certificate, so. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. But anyway, so I'm, what I'm saying is, is that I think that uh, that this has given a whole new breath, breath of fresh air to this election, uh, where it was just the two old guys. Just, it was just kind of, I went, when's this going to be over? You mm -hmm. know? And now I'm looking forward to what's going to happen. Already, Trump is trying to pull out of the debate. Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah. yeah the, 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 uh, the, I heard that he offered to debate him twice. Trump did. Well, of course he did. They had a second debate ready to go. Right. No, I, I heard that he's ready to debate Kamala twice if she wants. No, but the latest thing is the... Uh, the uh, um, what do you call it? The uh, 
uh, Trump. Uh, uh, it was an ABC one, which huh? is the one he's trying to back out of. And then there was a, a Fox that was supposed to, or CBS or Fox, one of the two. Fox. Boxes that was offer. supposed to uh, have another one. But he put he's out. Kinda... They put out a, uh, a, a what do you call it? A, you know, posting. Yeah. Uh, that said that they are doubtful whether they want to go ahead with that debate because, and then they gave some reasons about the fact that you know they, whatever. His uh, ear hurts. Hmm? His ear hurts. Yeah. His <laughs> ear hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he got shot. You know. Did he really? Well, yeah. I don't know about that. Really, oh. she will she will fry him in a debate. Oh, is she look. You know, when you see her right now speaking, you see the prosecutor in her. Oh yeah. You know, she's going to take that approach with Trump. He's going to be yes. on trial again. He's already trying to fight that that aspect of it. Okay, in that he made a statement to the fact that in one of his speeches. Uh, you know, she's the prosecutor is going to say I'm a felon, you know, or whatever. Yeah, and they, made yeah. fun of it. That's what I'm saying. They took that. They took those 15 or 20 words and they made that their first small campaign commercial. Yeah. Um. You know, it's already going to start. You couldn't pass the bar. The states where he says, you know, they call her a prosecutor and then the press goes on to point out how she's going up against me, the convicted felon. And, you know, and that's that's the commercial. And then at yeah. the end, you hear her voice say, I'm, you know. Kamala Harris and I approve this message. Right on. You know, yeah. That's what I'm saying. They just need to do four or five of those and just let people. Well, it's it. going to be a more aggressive campaign because she knows that she can get into a ring with him and run rings around him. You know, I mean, there's, there's no doubt about that. And he does, too. And that's what he's nervous about. Well, they were getting ready to fight Joe Biden, not her. I know. Roberta's mm -hmm. laughing, you know, but it's true, right, Roberta? Yeah, no, it's true. And uh, one of the one of the keys that we used for convincing people to uh, consider another candidate other than Biden is uh, seventy percent of the public did not want either candidate, and everyone agreed. Yep, I mean, we didn't have a single person when we cited that statistic. We didn't have anybody saying, "Oh, no, 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 you're wrong. No, we really want Joe Biden." No, they. They didn't want either candidate. So I now mean, that like they've said, now that was, they've got another candidate, they've got they somebody. They are excited. They are yeah. excited. Even Alex didn't want either candidate. <laughs> I wasn't that uh, delighted with Joe Biden. You know I, that. I'm not either. I wasn't either. I'm happy that he stepped aside. Yeah, and I think he did the right thing, and I think we should appreciate him for that, and you know, put a gold star on his report card, and you know. I'm getting older. I want to see a woman president before I kick the bucket. Well, I, you know, it isn't so much that it's a woman or that she's black or anything else, but somebody who is competent and ready to take on the job. And I think she's, yeah. I, you know, at this point, I, be, I didn't used to think she was that capable, but I do think she's capable now. Well, she can she's finish gonna, a sentence, you know? <laughs> she's going to... Uh, you you think Biden might have been harder or easy on Netanyahu? She is going to come down hard on him. Well, no, he, but well, today she yeah. was very respectful of him. They met respectful because you know. he's here visiting. Yeah. Once he goes back to Israel, and once once she becomes president, well, she did she put down the demonstrators today. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah, I was unhappy with that. Yeah, I was not happy with that. You know, yeah. but I missed that. But maybe that's her opinion. She felt that the that the demonstrations were anti-Semitic in nature, and that's okay. why she was against them. Okay. Uh, but she said she is pro Gaza. She is pro yeah. solving the problem in Gaza and saving lives. So, you know, I I have to give her credit for that. Okay. Yep. Uh, and I just wish Netanyahu would go home and get the hell out of Dodge. What's he doing here anyway? He's got a war over there, you know? He comes over here and he, he gives a, a warlike speech to our Congress, which is basically made up of, uh, of, of Republicans because most of the Democrats didn't show up for it. And uh, when he gave the speech, uh, you know, it was all hellfire and brimstone. Uh, and everybody thought it was going to be more of a conciliatory speech in which he 
would say something like, we're looking for a solution to this problem. Uh, he was just over here to try and get money. And now the, now he's going down. Where is it? When's he visiting with Trump? Tomorrow? Yeah, I think tomorrow. Yeah, why does he have to visit with Trump? You know, who who's Donald Trump? That's guy with a guy with a nick in his ear. He's a guy yeah, he's a buddy. guy he's a guy with a nick in his ear. You know? Mm. I mean yeah. Uh, it, it, it's just it it it, it, it and and then he uh, let's see he also met with the Republican leader. Well, that's okay, you know. Uh, he had to do that, but uh, you know, he's going down to visit with uh, with uh, uh, Trump. Come on, Trump doesn't have money to give him right now, and probably won't ever have money to give him. Nope. Again, you know, quit backing the, what who is going to now be the apparent loser. Although let's not say that. Let's say he, you know, he still has a great chance of winning because, um, you know, we don't want people to become too complacent about this. Isn't Kamala Harris's husband Jewish? Yes. Yeah. Uh, at least we have a Jewish first, first, uh, first gentleman. First second, gentleman. Second, second gentleman. Second gen. Oh, second gentleman. Excuse me. That's right. Yeah. 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 But he will be a first gentleman. That's right. If, he, if she becomes president, yeah. The very yeah. first first gentleman. Well, it's about time, you know. I mean, I, I, I've, I, every other country in the world has had female prime ministers and presidents and so on, except for us. Ma it, Madam President. It's about time. It's about time. So, yeah. you know, it'll be, it'll be. Uh, it, but first, we got to win this thing, and and I think that. There's new hope. That's that's what's important. Uh, just for a moment, uh, last night you, uh, j as we were closing off the show, Roberta, you tried to plug something, and uh, I couldn't let you plug it much because we were signing off. But why don't you plug it now? Thank you. Yeah, um, Status Coup is a news channel, uh, YouTube news channel. They uh, they are independent, completely independent. Uh, Jordan Sheridan, who's on there, used to be with the Young Turks. If you guys have ever watched the Young Turks. Hate uh, the, hate, hate, away. I hate the Young Turks, but keep Okay, going. well, he's not there anymore, but Jordan is a, um, a real journalist, news journalist. He mm -hmm. has covered the uh, um, Flint water crisis. He has uh, done a lot of digging. He has now published a book about what really took place with the Flint water crisis, which it turns out was mm. government corruption gone wild. Um, they had several engineering studies that were done before they switched to the uh, water that poisoned the city. And uh, they, the people in government were getting payoffs and were investing in the project, didn't want to hear about it. And so as many people as tried to tell them to stop and not do it, mm -hmm. it it's really, you know, he... he how do you, how do you spell coup? How do you spell it? Okay. How do you spell it? S-T-A-T-U-S, -S, status coup, um, C-O-U-P. Yeah, uh, that's two words, right? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. And, and, and what are you yeah. doing? For and him? yeah, he he's uh, covered um, uh, Standing Rock. He uh, covered um, the East Palestine um, explosion. If any of the uh, video stuff that you remember, like really, you know, stuck in your brain about the January 6th thing. Do you remember the one where everybody's yeah. in the tunnel with the guy stuck in the door? Yeah. Where there. Yeah. That was uh, one of his cameraman's footage. That wow. uh, you saw. Yeah. So it's but he's trying really hard to start a network, something that can compete with, you know, the the mainstream media. And it's really hard. Um, a lot of other people who have tried it in the left, you know, more progressive uh, newscasters, they they have a hard time putting things together because there just isn't enough support. And uh, he's doing this real journalism. He's not doing yeah, but, but, just opinion stuff. Yeah, but is it is it slanted in one direction or another? Or it's it's more it's all right. It's more progressive, but it's based on truth. What he does is he goes. He, he calls it giving the microphone back to the people. He goes man in the street. He goes and gets the information. He covered the UAW strike. He was out there with the strikers. 
so he could get their stories. Okay. In fact, he was one of the major places that covered the UAW strike live. So therefore, he gets the and, real and what's, story what's your, on the what's ground. Your, what's your association with this? Um, actually, I ju I'm just uh, uh, an, an old progressive <laughs> person that is like, we've got to uh, get our country back on in the right path again. Mm -hmm. And so I've been I've been helping uh, do some editing for him and stuff, but it hasn't been I'm, I'm not part of his organization at all. Right. I'm just helping oh, good. out. I'm glad I'm, I want to okay. see it succeed. <laughs> well, the plug is uh, well taken. Hello Thank to you. Don Giller has joined us, ladies and gentlemen, and he hasn't joined us at the last minute. He's joined <laughs> us a halfway through the, this, the, the last hour of our show. Hello, Don. Hey. I, I don't know if, if you mentioned it. If you did, then stop me, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll disappear. Tonight, uh, an organization called White Women for Kamala mm -hmm. did a, uh, uh, put the, had a Zoom meeting. They had 150,000 Zoom. It broke Zoom. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 will Zoom handle that many? No. Well, no, I mean, they say that they broke Zoom. They didn't, but it, no, there's never been a larger contingent Zoom of people. Zoom is good. If I'm not mistaken, Zoom is good for about 150 max if you pay for it. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't see it. I mean, I, I, I would figure that the, the images were, were like microscopic. Well, <laughs> I, think, I think they've got some ways where you can host like a teleconference where you're on there. But you can't really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not like just, everybody. Not anybody well, all, also, they do have a that. thing where you can move to another page with more people and another page with more people, mm -hmm. and the person who's talking at the moment pops up at the top. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, but but if everybody tries to talk at once, that could be a mess. <laughs> mm. I mean, but regardless of the platform, one hundred and fifty thousand people on a anything at one time. Would be... Turn up your mic, Alex. Pretty good. Turn up my mic. Just a hair, yeah. Just a hair. Let me see. You drop. Here. You dropped out a little bit. Did I? I <laughs> you said hair. Ah. I I dropped down. <laughs> How am I now? How am I now? A little hard. better. A little better. Yeah. Here. Let me do this. Okay. How's that? That's better. Yeah. Okay. That's better. All yeah. right. I turned stuff around. I'm trying to get this mic. I'm trying to get this all figured out. Because it, it, there are things you have to set and so on. And you can, they tell me with this particular mixer, you could take weeks to get it just right. So, you know. And then the cat will come along and knock it out of whack. <laughs> <clears throat> That's right. That's right. Cats like to do that. <laughs> anyway, um, so, um, you know, I mean, uh, we're, we're really, it's, a, it's become an interesting election time finally. And I just didn't, I mean, how about you, uh, 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 Vernon, you're kind of quiet here tonight, but how, how, what's your feeling about the way everything's going? I think the enthusiasm gap has definitely gone to Kamala because uh, partially the way she has handled it, I think she has handled it very well. Yeah. And uh, I think she's grabbed a lot of the youth folk who were probably just going to sit it out because there were two old men running. Yeah. 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 And uh, it, it, CNN was in Michigan last night interviewing kids on college campuses and said, you know, you wouldn't have voted for Biden or Trump. Will you vote for Kamala? And, the, Kamala? and they said, yes, she's very progressive and she will do things for people our age, college level kids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, it, it, you know, she's she's a lot of people are on her side, and that's very very good, you know, and uh, uh, you know, it, we're it's 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 Jeff got his hand up. Yes, Jeff. Yeah. Yes, Jeff. I I like seeing her, uh, because when she communicates, she's moving her face from the right to the left. She uses her hands. She's physically moving around. Uh, she's particularly where there's like, a, I don't know, several hundred people. And she's talking to the group who are 
Well, to begin with, the the the, the um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, 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 um, teleprompters are yeah. kind of further apart. She, the, in other words, you don't see teleprompters there, unless they, sometimes they'll pull the camera back and you'll see them. But you mm -hmm. don't really see them, and she knows how to use the teleprompters too. Okay. Unlike Trump, who just looks at it and reads it and goes like this, you know. Do they use teleprompters or do they use tablets like I? No, they I use think. they use teleprompters. Okay. Yeah, they use teleprompters. <clears throat> uh, why would they use iPads? You can't read iPads that well. Yeah. I don't know. Not from not from not from not from not from a distance. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, she doesn't look like she's reading teleprompters. No. I mean, am I wrong about this? Am I being a little giving her too much credit here? You know? I think you're right, and I think going back to how she's such a good prosecutor, it's probably practice. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, it, 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 I don't get the feeling when she's talking, when she's giving a speech, that she's reading it. And even even Biden wasn't very good at that, you know? Yeah. Uh, but she is. She's very practiced at it, and uh, good for her, you yeah. know? Well, the other thing is I, I noticed that all a tremendous number of women yeah are women oriented that you know they're gonna vote they maybe would never have voted for anybody they want to vote now like tony well it, what it's doing is it's encouraging women to come out and vote and will have a reason to vote but it's not going to take those republican women and make them like her anymore they're going to still vote for trump okay yeah but, but but they're more of her supporters than of his uh, mm -hmm. it's just a matter of getting them to vote and it looks like they will and i think as as you said it, it's been a pretty encouraging week yeah mm -hmm. well i mean what happens is you, you're really how who you've got to convince is the middle ground you've got to convince yeah. the independents and Remember? I, yeah go now go ahead what were you going to say? I was just going to say, remember Kansas, where um, I believe it was Kansas, where um, they uh, were able to defeat a, uh, a total state abortion um, uh -huh. ban. And again, you're, you're looking at J.D. Vance, who is, I mean, if they can do that in a red state, then I am sure that J.D. Vance is just going to make the whole thing worse for Trump. Oh, Trump's already absolutely. Gone. What? Trump's, re Trump's replacing him. He's already <laughs> dumping. Oh, really? Okay. No. <laughs> no. No, okay. I he actually might, expect it. He might, really. though, he might though, Don. No, I, I don't yeah. think he will. I don't think you can, uh, I don't you think can expect can. that yeah. to happen. Yeah. Uh, it, it, that would be, uh, that would be uh, admitting defeat. Yes. Yeah. That'd be admitting a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah, Trump he is, doesn't make mistakes in his mind. Which, which but he Trump, practically canned his whole administration when he was in office. So <laughs> why not? Yes, right. I, I've got a, a a tweet here that says white women raised almost two thousand dollars a minute and over twenty million in an hour on a Zoom call. One hundred fifty thousand plus participated. Biggest Zoom call in history. Hmm. Um, well, you know, that still doesn't mean she's going to win. Okay. No. That, how, that does, how does that translate is the question. It translates to everybody is so excited to have anybody but Trump. <laughs> yeah, well, yes. And, and uh, you know, the, the, you know we, we, we'd like to think the immigration thing is the biggest uh, factor in this election. And it's not. Uh, the biggest factor is abortion. Yeah. And this is going to get the women out. Yeah. Okay. Not older women. They don't care. You know, they've gone through menopause. It doesn't matter. They have kids. But, but, yeah, but yeah, you're going to get ladies. you're going to get the young women out voting and backing her like crazy. Yeah. Well, think about how many parents have tried to take their daughters or granddaughters across borders in order to avoid the problems with the state and the abortion problems. So, yeah, even older women. Well, I mean, yeah. this whole this whole thing with the Supreme Court is terrible. And and uh, Biden, before he leaves office, wants to do something about the Supreme Court. Now, what it is exactly, I don't know. 
You might the want. Is he, he can't get past the Congress. Well, he can't well, get past the Congress, but well, he can I, start it, and if she becomes president, she can continue it. Well, there, if, there is if an if answer. If the Democrats, if the Democrats take control of both houses. Yeah. Well, there, there is an answer. Bernie Sanders wanted to do this. There is a way to take the existing justices and actually um, move them to other positions. They can rotate them. That, in other words, they are going to be a, appointed for life, but you can actually rotate them out to other positions and other people in. And Bernie talked about this several times in his campaign speeches. So he does think that that's a viable possibility. I never heard of that. Have you heard of this, Neither Josh? Wait a minute. Josh? Josh is, a, is our our resident expert on things Supreme Court. Have you heard that at all? I don't know. Not, not that I remember. I don't remember what he said. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll find the information only, for you. I think it I only applies to the last three that were appointed, and they have to go to Russia for three years. <laughs> <laughs> think so. Yeah. But uh, mm. Tony, you haven't said anything tonight. Uh, no, I'm, I'm kind of waiting to see who she uh, picks for VP. And I guess I think the next, you know, conv the convention. I guess you're going to see how speech. I think that's really going to you're going to see more really from her. I think you're seeing enough of her now. You know, yep. you, we we pretty well know who she is now. But uh, I'd like to see what kind of bump she gets after the convention too. If it's oh possible. well, well, there will be a convention bump. There always is. Yeah. Even if Hitler were running, there'd be a convention bump. I mean, I'm still shocked he got shot at. I couldn't believe it. I was so broken up. <laughs> I mean, I, My brother came down. I was, I was like, what happened? He goes, we're going out to dinner. He says, they tried to get Trump. I says, what? <laughs> I was like, no way. I thought he was joking with me. I went upstairs. It's like, holy moly. Yeah. I couldn't and the text you a, sent thank me. Buddy, oh, wait a minute. What's his... Sanders' plan to fix the Supreme Court. There it is. It right. is it. Then what did Bernie say? Yeah, uh, I, I'm not going to read it. Uh, um, no, that requires you to read. There's no. Yeah, it requires me to read. That's an issue right there. We now uh, have we, Bree is going to be joining us here. He's oh, in Bree. Malaysia. It's a matter of, of of expanding the court. Yeah. Oh, so he wants to add more people then. Add more people, and then and then and then she said, "I'm and forgive me, I I, I forgot your name." What? The name sorry, of... you mean Roberta? Yes, Roberta. Okay, I'm, I apologize. Sorry, I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I mean it, it's exactly as she describes. Um, you have 87 members of the Supreme Court, um, and you rotate them. Exactly what she said. 87 members of the Supreme Court. Yeah, that, that's his idea. Hmm. And you rotate them. Is that a nice way of saying you're fired, really? I mean, <laughs> tuck, tuck, juice, goose. That's what it is. Where is he going to rotate them? Why are you going to rotate them so they won't go bald? Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Enjoy the video. You rotate them out of the the Supreme Court itself. You rotate them into other positions. It's not like the appellate court. Yeah. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. In, in other words, it's sort of like term limits without being term well, limits. Well, I, I think that it, we have an exceedingly dangerous situation there where the Supreme Court, uh, they can't, you know, they can't be fired. They're there for life, you know. And I just don't know that that's a good idea. They can be impeached, can't uh, they? Yes, they can be yes. impeached. Yes. yes, but it's it requires agreement with almost everybody. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, um, what, what was I uh, thinking? Uh, the Oh, yeah. Um, here's the big question. Well, was, AOC hmm? did bring articles of impeachment. AOC brought, has raised articles you're, of you're breaking against it. two of the justices. Oh, she really? stood on the floor and announced it. Okay. But it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's Thomas and the Republican. Republican. Just so we know that was done. Yeah. With the Republicans in control, though. But it was done. I think it's important, out. and I'm. It's important to say that. Yeah. Oh, okay, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. But I didn't know she did that. But uh, then again, she, you know, she did not come out for. Has she come out for Kamala, Kamala yet, Kamala? Has she come out I for AOC? I yeah, AOC. No, in fact. <laughs> She did a big yeah, Instagram, one-hour mm. Instagram uh, 
<laughs> like a night or two before Biden pulled out. So that was a little that was a little interesting. Well, she wasn't. She's for, great. She wasn't for Biden pulling out. She she, uh, she has she has endorsed Harris. She has oh, endorsed good. Harris okay. now. Okay. She 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 explained in that uh, talk about why she and the other progressives were not behind pushing Biden out. And I don't know if I agree or disagree from my perspective, but it was the the idea was that the main people who wanted Biden out were were the donors and the wealthy and the people yeah, she who that she doesn't even like in the first place. So she had a hard time figuring out what the uh, hidden agendas might be. That was the problem. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. and that's that's because Kamala was appointed by Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton loves her. And she handpicked her to say, this is going to be our first female president. We're going to make sure that it is. So, I mean, that's if you go along with that, you go along with that. Yeah. Yeah. What's your take on Kamala Harris? You like her? Agree? Um, I, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I, I think she's either going to pick Josh Shapiro or Mark Kelly. I would go with Mark Kelly. I that would. would just be my own uh, yeah, yeah. pick, um, but uh, let's see. She see what what it's funny. It's really funny because I think this is going to be a close election, um, and I think if you remember when Hillary ran, she picked uh, Tim Kaine. It was a complete vanilla pick because she thought, uh -huh. well, I'm going to be the president. I'm I got this all locked up, no problem. And I think Trump did the same thing when he picked J.D. Vance. He thought, oh, I got this all locked up. Let's go ahead. And now Camilla has a chance to make a strategic decision mm -hmm. that could def that could push her over the top to win. So let's watch that. It's going to be interesting. Well, that's what Kelly? I was going to bring up next uh, here was uh, in our last couple of minutes of the program is that uh, discussing her vice presidential choice. Um, I agree with you. Mark Kelly's a very good uh, choice. He's been out of the out of this world, so you know why not. Kelly yeah. is a is a danger because he's a senator. Oh, and, I was... and, and and the danger is that he that 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 the Democrats might lose a Senate seat. Well, well they have a dem they have a Democratic governor in Arizona though. So if he were to leave yeah. the Senate, he can be replaced with a member. Yes. Yeah, he replaced for a couple of years. Yeah. I thought you were going to say it was a danger because one of the things that, I, again, I talk to voters and I know that a lot of the independents and any of the never Trumpers, uh, Kelly has is staunchly anti-gun and that could backfire a little. I don't know. Um, have any of you looked at the uh, was um, the um, Minnesota governor? I think his name is Wall or something. I saw a uh, very quick thing where he was interviewed and he was amazing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I uh, my my other choice uh, is oddly enough is Pete Buttigieg. I, uh -huh. It's not going to happen. Why don't you think it's going to happen? No way. Because he's gay. That's why. And he doesn't bring anything to the ticket. Same with Shapiro. He's a Jew. Yeah, but Shapiro can maybe get her Pennsylvania. I think he'd be a good pick. Yeah, but but he Shapiro can get him Pennsylvania. A Jew is never going to be president of the United States. Yeah. You know, I would like to. I, I disagree. You disagree? Uh, yeah, I think it. I think it can happen. They, look, they said a Catholic would never be president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, a well, APEC, a APEC wouldn't uh, probably would support a Jew enough that it, I mean they're a huge donor. I think they could skyrocket somebody up there. I think it's going to be pretty hard for a Jew to become president. I think at this point, because there's so so many other racial groups out in front now. You know, for we weren't happy that we had a black president. Now we got to have a black female president. You know, then then what do they say after she's that? She's not black. She's brown. huh? Yes, no, she's she black. She's not African American. That's where the difference is. Yeah. 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 Tim Tim Waltz. Yeah. That's the that's the. Uh, Minnesota's governor, Tim Waltz. Yeah, but, but who's you. heard of Thank him? You. We don't know anything about him. I'll you know. find the video for you for tomorrow. Has that. Pre, uh, uh, Pete Buttigieg has an advantage being I gay like. because he dresses impeccably, okay? <laughs> yeah, that'll win over the voters. Yeah, yeah. No, but he's, he's you know, I think he has proved himself to be very he's proficient. He's raising a family. Huh? He, he's brilliant. There's yeah, nothing. but they're, uh, they're yeah. adopted, so he's not... He doesn't oh, have yeah. the power. And he loves cats. 
Wait, does he like cats? I don't know. <laughs> but look, at, look what he did in Indiana. I mean, he, like, everybody there was uh, really upset with him. He is competent. He's brilliant. He definitely can do the job. But he's not going to, I'm sorry, I would be a little more calculating. Uh, and I, I would say I need a state. I need a swing state. I need to secure it. And that's what I, that's the way I would go. But well, you know. Uh, we'll uh, 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 that's but, why I suggested Roy Cooper. What uh, what percentage of Americans now are gay? I would say a lot. What do you think, Alex? Fifteen percent. Not I'm enough to win an election. Well, all I'm saying is, gays would vote for him. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think gays are going to vote for Kamala over Trump all day long. Yeah, I'm, I'm, no I'm, matter who she picks. Well, right. you know who knows what. I I can't imagine anybody voting for Trump. Yeah, well, neither could I, but it's going to happen. Yeah, we're now it's now a part of our program that has to occur whenever Bree calls. What is Bree having for lunch? What's on for lunch? Uh, it looks like the poo poo platter. <laughs> what is it? Ooh, what What do you got awesome. there, Bree? What do you got? Doing something exotic. This is Nando. It's a it's a South African chicken chain. Ooh. And they do, uh, the chicken is very Portuguese oriented. So the whole place is, you know, made out like kind of a half South African, half Portuguese. Sounds good. So what are you having? And I get unlimited, I have uh, unlimited bottomless yogurt. Bottomless, In other words, as much uh, yogurt, iced tea. as much yogurt as you can possibly eat. Is that what bottomless yogurt is? Yes, yeah. Okay. And then this is my, it's just chicken with a Caesar salad and uh, mm. potato wedges. Nice. Wow. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So how much will yep. it cost? 15, 15. Bottomless iced tea, bottomless yogurt. Yeah. $5. Complete uh, quarter chicken. Do you have bottomless? Side salad. Do you have very <laughs> tasty. Do you have bottomless? Do you have bottomless weight people? I would say it's at least twenty bucks. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> I mean bottomless drinks. Don't, I'm don't saying his his around. whole lunch is going to come to under eight dollars. Five dollars. The um, bottomless drink. Don't your pants get wet? <laughs> okay, so how much? <laughs> how much? Okay, so it's forty ringgit. So that would be about uh, eight dollars and fifty cents. Well, I was close I was, today. I was close. Yeah. This is a big splurge. <laughs> we like we like when you eat in the Asian restaurants because the pretty women run around. Mm. Well, Sorry, Tony. Uh, and all the all the restaurants you. in Malaysia are Asian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody says let's go out for Chinese. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although they may say, let's go to Taco Bell. Yeah, we, we have Taco Bell. But wait a minute, we just lost Roberta's picture here. But she, oh, there she's back. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else did we lose? Yeah, no, we, but you we didn't lose anybody. Positions. We didn't yeah. lose anybody. Um, okay. Let's see here. We got about five more minutes. Uh, but I, I think that, uh, that he's, you know... Who she picks, I don't know. Can you vote? Get them by state? Isn't there a guy down in Kentucky that's being considered? Uh, our, sure, governor, our, our governor, but I kind of agree with Don that, that Kentucky is not in play, so he probably won't get picked. Yeah. He would make a good vice president and, and, and all, but it's a matter of building your ticket and it's and you want to bring somebody in who's going to add to the ticket. I'm not sure Brashear will. Mm -hmm. Kentucky's not in play. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Trump. Okay. Okay. But uh, who do you think, uh, 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 who do you think the, uh, the front runners right now? I guess Mark Kelly is the one I always hear all the time. Mark Kelly and Josh Shapiro and uh, Roy Cooper. I yeah, probably big Marjorie big. says she'd like to see Josh Shapiro just remain as governor of Pennsylvania because he's doing a very good job there. Yeah. Mark Kelly. Uh, there, there's NBC headline news. Republicans see Governor Josh Shapiro as uh, Harris's 
super strong VP contender. There you go. Who is who is Josh, Josh. Uh, Shapiro. Josh Shapiro? Josh Shapiro. Because in the case of Kelly, I mean, he is an up for he is an up for election this year. So if he ran with her as vice president and he didn't win, they didn't win, he could go right back to being senator. Yes. So, so it's not like we're losing somebody in, in that respect. Uh, but it's going to be it's going to be interesting who she's going to pick. Um, well, the same is true for Shapiro and Roy Cooper. They're not up for re-election this year either. Yeah, yeah. So it, we'll, we'll wait and see. She's got to. They're going to do a, a virtual uh, nomination uh, in the next week or so, isn't it? One of these. Yeah, part of that's because of the different state laws about getting on the ballot. Yeah. So they they're going to uh, they're going to nominate her, and they said by August seventh she has to come up with the vice presidential candidate. Now you know I never I, if I remember correctly when I was a kid and they used to run the uh, the conventions, uh, they used to have uh, uh, they used to uh, have the nominee for vice president picked the day after the nomination was assured for the president. And then she, that person would come out and say, okay, okay. now here's who I want as my nominee. And um, then the, the, you know, that's the right. uh, huh? I want, I want to make it clear. Yeah. It says here that the DNC will hold a virtual roll call vote before the convention, but that doesn't mean that the convention itself will be virtual. No, just, just the role. Um, does, does anybody know, does Obama support Kamala? Has he officially in, yes. endorsed her? Yes. No, he did. I don't yeah. Think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He did? Not yet. No, he didn't come out yet, though. I don't think he comes out till later, they said, usually. Who, who? I saw a report where it said, Obama says, you know, let's open the process. But maybe that was older. Mm -hmm. he, originally, he originally said that. In fact, I was all for it. I couldn't believe that Obama would actually say that. But yeah, yeah. It's, 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 so Obama plans to endorse Harris for president soon. That was 24 hours ago. Oh, so he hasn't yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a reason why he's waiting? Well, they may do it strategically. They need know. to control the news cycle. Yeah. So Obama, you know, the endorsement could be one, two or three days. Uh, vice president pick could be a week. You know, so. Oh, what Slow do we time. what do we need with what do we need with Obama? We already have George Clooney's endorsement. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> what about Oprah? Have, have we gotten Oprah? We haven't heard from Oprah yet. That's right. I bet she's for Trump. How about <laughs> that'd be funny? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Who are you endorsing? What? <laughs> yeah, well, on a on a on a Similar subject, though, Alex, uh, and I know Josh and I have talked about this a little bit, too. The NPVIC right now has 50 electoral votes in play in five, I think it's four or five states where they are considering adopting that. And if they, if they do adopt it, that would take the total up to 259 out of 270. Uh, I, don't get, I don't get what you're saying exactly. Well, the MPVIC has to have at least 270 electoral well, votes. What MPVIC, what, what does that stand national for? Pop, national popular vote. Oh, yeah, you were talking compact. about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So right now, if these other states that are considering the legislation, yeah. a bunch of them have dropped it recently. Like Kentucky was considering, but they dropped it. But there are 50 in play. There are 209 right now that are signed on mm -hmm. and 50 that are in play. So if there's 50 come up, it'll be 259 out of 270. That just means we need 11 more. Wow. Okay. Anyway, uh, Jeff, thank you so much for being here this evening. We appreciate it. And uh, are you in Connecticut right now? I am right now, but I'm moving around. Oh, yeah. Well, you're going up to the uh, Cape, right? Yeah, I'm going up to... Uh... The Maine. Maine. Okay. Bring me well, back a lobster, okay? Cool what? Bring me a lobster, right? Yeah. Uh, Josh, good having you here tonight. You know, it's been quite a week, hasn't it? Been busy. Yeah. I mean, for a guy like, who, like you who likes to follow politics and follow all this stuff, it's got, it's got to be a, a very interesting week. 
glad you got your music playing. Yeah. Also, thanks to uh, <laughs> thanks to Vernon for being here, and thanks to Alan for being here, and Kevin. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, the lovely and attractive Tony has joined us and has been very good tonight. Uh, Don Giller, thank you so much for being here. We love it when you're here. And uh, thanks to our uh, food buff from uh, Malaysia, uh, <laughs> Bree Free, uh, Freeman, Bree. And, and finally, Roberta, and you got to keep calling Roberta. Good. You're terrific. Yeah. You mm -hmm. add to this just perfectly. Uh, so please join us as much as you want to. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. Good night, Good night everybody. Yeah, and I'll uh, give a big wave goodbye at you. There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, next is Amy Manuel. She'll be on most of these same GabNet stations. She'll be here with the, uh, the intersection. You can call her on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know what to do. Tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.